everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working more on these window sills. Uh, as you can see here, I got that piece of wood in that ran along uh, the front of the sill. Got that uh, 45 degree angled cut uh, here. Put some wood putty in, uh, sanded them up, put a little bit more sta uh, stain on. So far they look good. I still want to seal these with this kind of like water seal stuff I've got everywhere else. But I think I'm going to do that after I finish up with the concrete area. And uh, I got... I decided, uh, mostly based on River's input, that uh, it would be a lot more uh, attractive if we put tile down here. So we're going to still put the concrete down, but instead of just doing concrete and getting it smooth and getting giving it kind of a colored, swirled surface, um, I'm going to uh, put tile down. This is uh, some uh, slate tile that matches what we have in the bathroom. I think it's a good idea. And this one is going to go right in there. Uh, I'm kind of tessellating them as I go. I'm going to step outside and uh, we can see how I'm kind of chopping them up. I'm, I'm setting them in place as as I go, but uh, once you start working with the, the cement, uh, I'll be taking the pieces out and um, uh, soaking them in water so that they adhere to the cement really well and then, um, and then setting them back in. Uh, in terms of how I'm laying them out, uh, I've got two foot tiles here and if I cut them in half um, it's not quite wide enough uh, because, uh, well, they're a foot wide, and if I cut that in half, uh, and they're two feet long, if I cut it in half, that gives me, like, a little bit less because a foot wide tile isn't actually a foot wide. They account for, like, the quarter inch of grout in there, so these are, like, 11 and three quarters inches. So cutting these in half, I wouldn't quite have enough to run it down the center. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting six and a quarter inches off of the side. Here, is this set of six and a quarter? No, it's not yet. I'm cutting six and a quarter off of the side, and that leaves me a little bit of scrap. And then I'm taking that bit of scrap once it comes off, which is too narrow uh, for a whole window width, and I'm putting it in sideways, and I'm cutting off strips of it. Uh, and I'm just kind of tessellating them in that way. I, it reminds me a little bit of a Mondrian painting. Uh, you know, got all these kind of tessellated squares, except where Mondrian was uh, basing his layout on uh, principles of aesthetics and balance. I'm basing my layout uh, primarily uh, considering what, what kind of scrap material I have left. Um, but that said, I'm trying, I, I feel like I have some sort of an artistic inclination where, you know, I'm trying not to have like, you know, the exact same uh, size piece repeating in a way that makes it look like there's some kind of like a broken pattern going on. Um, I don't know, I, I'm making it so it looks nice to me. Uh, but that's the reason I'm laying the things out so I can kind of look at it, step back, kind of shuffle pieces around. And then uh, when I am ready to put the concrete in, which will probably be the next day that I'm working, uh, I'll be taking all those pieces out, kind of keeping them in order, and then laying them back into the concrete uh, once they are, they're wet. But for today, I just want to get all this stuff cut up and lay it in front of all the windowsills and, um, you know, kind of go from there. So far, so good. It's going great. I've got the diamond bit in here. And this is one of those tools where if you have the right tool for the job, it just makes a job that would be so difficult, you know, cutting this stuff by hand. <laughs> uh, or chiseling away or whatever, it makes a, it, it turns it into a really easy task. I'm going to cut one of these as we go out on the end of the video. Obviously, I've got hearing protection and breathing protection, and this one's really clogged up. You can see as I breathe, <coughs> oh, some of it's even coming through. <laughs> I think this one's getting a little bit uh, used. I took a really deep breath to puncture it in there. I don't know, it looks all right on the inside. Anyway, breathing protection and eyeball protection, and all of these I think are really necessary for this particular task. Here we go, six and one quarter inches. 